Today in Ridgefield, we've got our aim of the game. It's the first time seeing these rare birds called sandhill cranes. Quite phenomenal. This is probably the only place in the whole of Washington you can see them. And it was great to see them. Hi folks, and Happy New Year. This is uh, our first birding trip of the year. The kid and I are out as we like to be on a cold Sunday morning. But this time we are much further south than our usual stomping grounds near Seattle. We are in Ridgefield, Washington, which is almost near the Oregon border. And there's a wonderful uh, nature refuge here, uh, the Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge. So we're here for the day. Uh, we actually came in on a Saturday night because I didn't want to get up at four in the morning and drive three hours. And we are at a place called the Carty Unit, which is one of the many units that Richfield National Wildlife Refuge has. Uh, this is walking trails, and let's see what we find here. Behind those trees are a whole bunch of swans, snow geese, potentially some cranes. Uh, we're seeing a lot of activity. You can hear swans like crazy. You can see them flying around over there. Um, but we haven't figured out how to get there. Uh, that's going to be an interesting challenge. One of the things about birding that uh, I'll talk about often is that it's not always easy uh, to get what you want. You have to be super patient. They may not be where you want to be or where you want them to be. Uh, in this case, we can't figure out how to get to the place we want to get to, and there may be no path. Uh, long lenses help, binoculars help, scopes help, but you know it takes some patience and luck to be successful. As an aside, how do people carrying gorilla pods for vlogging actually manage to pull it off? Because they are heavy and keeping the camera stable, especially an R6 with a RF 15 to 35 is, uh, my arm's already tired. now at the River S unit of uh, Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge, which is our favorite part of the park. Uh, it's quite spectacular for birds. You see all kinds of waterfowl here and other kinds of wildlife as well. Uh, we're hoping to see cranes as well, which we haven't seen here before. Uh, the reason we came down here from Carty unit, which is where we were, was the part of Carty that was very active was in the sun. And the part that was available through the trails was the part we were in, uh, which was in sh the shade. So the birds are further away. So while you could admire them, you couldn't do any photography. River S unit has a loop. You can't actually come out of the car this time of the year. You're going to round, go around the loop in the car, try and take pictures. Uh, it's actually still foggy here. Uh, the sun is trying to peek out of the fog, but it's not out there yet. So what you can see over there are a bunch of waterfowl. This is right at the beginning of the loop. And it takes us a couple of hours, three hours sometimes to go over the loop because we keep stopping to take pictures. 
if you are in a car, so you might see the mirrors of my car as I'm taking video. So you can see a red winged blackbird there. I got some good photographs of it, which I'll put up. Uh, always great to hear the call. Out there, we're still doing the loop on the river as unit. You see a number of coots at uh, the back. You'll probably see some shovelers, uh, but the birds you see closest to us are coots. I uh, also see some pintails at the back. Uh, it's quite a sight. It's still very foggy, uh, not ideal photography weather. So, we may take a second loop just for photos, but. Uh, it's kind of nice seeing all these scoots around. see behind us is the river as unit still we are going around all these water bodies uh, the one to behind me has a bunch of shovelers pintails green winged teals uh, and american coots uh, in the fog somewhere we can hear a lot of snowy ge snow geese uh, which this time of the year in the pacific northwest you find in clumps of thousands um, it's quite a sight actually uh, still very foggy which makes it look really lovely uh, we are clearly the slowest drivers on the, around here because most people keep driving around and we tend to stop and stay in one place for many, 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 many minutes. Anyway, well, let's continue here. As you can see, the sun has come out now. At the back, I think you see a bunch of snow geese, maybe some swans. Uh, there's a lovely heron floating around over here that we've been tracking for a while. So we are at a part of uh, the refuge where you actually can get out of the car right now. It's a little trail that leads to a blind. Uh, last time we saw a bunch of black phoebes and a, um, flycatchers there. Wrong time of the year, so we probably won't see so many today, but let's see what we find. What do you see? Sure. You can see and hear a whole bunch of 
cattling geese and maybe there's some Canada geese here too. But uh, it's been great. We've been tracking kestrels. Uh, we saw uh, sandhill cranes earlier. Uh, we've seen over 30 species of birds. I've, I'm at 32, but I'm quite positive I haven't put everything in. Uh, definitely worth the trip. Just amazing trip. Thank you.